everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really nice um, window box uh, photo frame. It's got a nice little stand on the back and as you can see it sits up perfectly. Um, this has come about from the acetate sliding box that I recently put up which has been really popular and I've had some really nice feedback from that. And also, because I don't know if I'm the only one, I doubt I am, but whenever it comes to doing these window box, um, shadow box, whatever you want to call them, um, when I do them from one piece of paper, I can never get them perfect. I'm always, I don't know, I've got a gap here, or it's not the right, there's different heights, or it's just the foldings, that something isn't right, and I'm quite a particular, quite a careful crafter. However, I can never get them perfect. But by doing this way, which is a deconstructed way, which is how I done the acetate um, uh, window box, um, I'll share the link to that video um, at the end of this one. Um, I've done it again, and it's it's I love it. It's just a really nice technique. It's easy, and it's much more, I feel it's much much better doing it this way. Plus, you can basically make any size window shadow box um, you like. So. Um, I've done this as a picture frame but there's no reason why that couldn't be a box with then acetate or a lid to go on top of it and obviously you just wouldn't cut out that rectangle um, frame there that I've done for the photo so that's what I've done and I'm really really pleased with it it's rock hard I've used my brown craft card which I've um, uh, then stuck this paper on top of and I just left it overnight um, however you can just use normal card you don't have to use the craft card but it's a really really nice um, solid piece and this is going to make a nice gift so um, let's crack on and make it because I've done these to fit um, where's my ruler so it's for the 6x4 photos um, and the total um, height of the frame is 7 and it is 5 inches wide so again it's a really nice size um, if you wanted to you could also put an acetate sheet over the front if you felt you needed to I've not bothered um, but there's no reason why you can't and then the back this actual stand is the frame piece here so again I've, I've made sure I use as much of the card as possible so I've just and it's nice because it's got that stitched um, kind of detail there and then I've just done this little piece here because over time although initially I didn't you don't need that but over time this will become weaker the crease will become weaker um, you know if it maybe is sitting on a windowsill the sunlight and stuff so if you have this piece here it will just stop it from eventually just coming straight out and the frame just falling over so it should last a lot lot longer okay I have made a few changes, this was my first one, I've made a few alterations, nothing that you will notice, but I've, it certainly makes it much better to put it together. So I'm going to sit that up there so I can look at it, and then all the bits and pieces you are going to need. Um, by the way, if you're wondering, this is me, and this is my lovely sister. So, Although my pink hair has changed now, um, and I'm not blonde either. So... Um, Okay, that's my next picture, I think, or I might you have got another one there. Right, you are going to need, so first of all, just this little flower detail that I've put on here. This is just from this unbranded daisy and chrysanthemum um, leaf uh, die cut set that I've got, and I also just done my own um, stamps there as well, but I'll share the link for that one. Um, so first of all, go through those bits in a second. Right. You are going to need, so this is one of these sides here, so you're going to need two of these pieces here which measure three by seven. Okay, and like I said, this is the craft card on the back and I just used, I got a sheet of my 12 by 12 um, floral paper, used my Pritt stick and just smeared it on the craft card, stuck that on top with my bone tool, just went over it making sure there's no air bubbles and then I put it underneath this green mat with my um, die cutting machine on the top and just left it overnight. And I do that with a lot of my pretty papers that are really flimsy papers that I want to be able to make a box with or a gift bag. I mount them onto my craft card just to make them stronger. Okay, so you need two pieces of three by seven and then you need um, two pieces of three by five. So that makes the top bit of the frame. Go through the scoring in a second. So the other two are already done. Um, and then you need two pieces, so this is going to make your frame and then your back piece. So you need two pieces that are five by seven. 
So I've used the craft card for my back piece here. And then I wanted to change it rather than have the same print. I've gone for plain. So it's entirely up to you if you want to keep the same colour. But that one is your top um, top one here. So you may want to have craft card for that top piece as well. But I would recommend really going for a print or a plain print rather than the brown card. But it's entirely up to you. Um, that piece is what comes out of there. So we'll talk through that in a minute. And then you just need this piece which is to hold that stand in place at the back. And that measures one and sorry, one and a half, measures three and a half by one and a quarter. Okay, so with all of those pieces, if we go back to the very first long, one of the long sides, so again you'll have two pieces of these. Um, I'll flip it over this side so it's easier to see the score lines. And basically what you want to do is along the three inch side, you want to score at one quarter, then one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and then two and three quarters. Okay, so do that again on the second piece. Then on that smaller one that you have here, again along the three inch side, you want to score at a quarter, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and two and three quarters, so the same as what you did before. And then the, the only change with this one is, is then rotate it onto one of the sides, and you just want to score at a quarter of an inch, and then four and a half. So you've got two quarter inch, um, sorry, you want to score at half an inch and four and a half. So you've got two half inch um, little kind of pieces there which we're going to cut. Okay. So again, do that for the other piece. So you should have two like that and two like that one. Then with your little piece that's going to help that stand, along the three and a half inch side, you just want to score at half an inch, one and three quarters and three inches. Okay. You don't need to do any... Um, scoring for this back piece of craft card however if you've got a circle um, punch you just want to um, kind of hole punch um, half a circle out there it's just going to help making the picture easier to get in and out I didn't do it on this one and what I've had to do is just grab some tweezers just to be able to pull it um, in and out um, so that was the only uh, one of the differences I've made. So that's what you want to prep for that one there. If you don't have a punch, just use a circle um, die like this one here and pop it on the top there just so it's um, covering half of the uh, circle roughly and run it through your machine. Okay, so again, don't worry if you don't have everything. There are ways around it. Um, and then with this piece here, so like I said, the picture is to fit a 6x4. Um, and that's with the sticking that I've done there. That will be um, a six by four um, piece. And I've just remembered I shouldn't have put that piece on there. So it's fine. don't copy that yet until I tell you. Um, right, for the frame. So I've used one of my stitch rectangle framelets. And this one measures at uh, four and a half by three and one eighth of an inch. Now, You'll see that I haven't done mine so it goes all the way down here. And that was because I wanted to do some kind of little flower. You could have a nice little sentiment here. So I thought it was quite nice. Um, if you do want to go all the way down, then you would need to use either a, um, a cutting knife and your mat and get your measurements out and just um, do a, what did I say that was? Four, four and a, uh, sorry, three and one eighth and then all the way down so you've got a nice even border um, you might have a, a bigger die a lot um, you know a longer rectangle die which you can use for it um, otherwise you can use your cutting um, uh, machine as well and just go along and score and cut um, the rectangle out but I just found it one it's just really easy and I like to be able to have some kind of little thing in my frame so that's that and then with the bit that comes out we'll give you this piece here now again again if you're not doing it well you will either it doesn't matter what way you do you're going to have a piece of card that is going to come out of this part here so that will form your um your stand and just along the longer width of it so whatever yours is it, it whatever yours will be in my in my case it's four and a half you just want to score a half an inch just down there and then we could just bend that piece I didn't long stick this one actually, so it's a bit more like so. And then that will just be attached. 
okay so that is all of the bits and pieces so now it's just assembling it all which is very straightforward so what we want to do first of all is attach this to our base so I put some tape along the top here don't do that you don't want tape along the top because you won't be able to get the picture in so um, again I was a bit too advanced with my prep there but I will need to extend some of that um, tape up to the top there because it hasn't gone that far okay so what you want to do to get that frame in the middle is all I done popped it on the card and then measured so you're going to have a half an inch this is a half an inch frame so you just want to come in at half an inch and just put a little pencil mark from the bottom you want to come up one inch because that's going to have um, room for a sentiment come in from the other side by one inch and then come in from the top at one inch you'll see I've just put little pencil marks and then I made sure that that was then centered within those pencil marks so again I've got a nice even one and um, half an inch frame around this die cut okay so again it was just a nice way to kind of make sure it's all where it needs to be right so now we can stick this onto here so just line it up from the bottom and right there. there we go and then at this point I would just test your picture frame um, and you can see that I know I've got that tape there, that's fine but now you've got a nice area to be able to pull it in and out so I'll try this one you might need to trim the sides a little bit because of the the double sided tape so look it goes in but I can just feel it ever so slightly so I'm just going to trim these are my bridesmaids from my wedding day my sister on the right and my best friend Kate on the left hope she doesn't mind being shown off to thousands but uh, <laughs> I'm sure she won't mind okay so I'll just slide that one like so and again because it's new just kind of lift up that bottom piece just to kind of help it in like so there we go doesn't that look lovely? Right, so that is the picture in. You don't have to put the picture in now, but I've just tested it, so I'll leave it in there now for the video. Um, so what you want to do is grab one of the shorter of the uh, ones that you've scored, and you'll see those score lines that we um, added in to form those two half an inch um, sections. With that facing you, you just want to cut up past that first score line, up to the second score line again do the same on this one okay then flip it over well I can't really for the video because you won't see it so it's fine just and then you want to go from this you've got one to the third score line from the edge of it or from the yeah from the very edge you then want to go across on the diagonal to join that cut that you just made so again on this side here like so. Make sure they're super nice and neat because you're going to see all of this, okay? But that's what you want to have, okay? And make sure you do that again on the other short piece that you have. And then we can burnish these all. So I'm just going to carefully grab my burn tool. Okay, so you should have them all like that. Then you want to grab some strong tape. So I'm using my red tape. And you just want to apply it to the outsides of these two little quarter inch tabs. This was one of the changes I made because on that one that I've already done, these were one inch. But what I found is when you overlapped them, um, it actually made um, quite a considerable um it affected the kind of it's hard to explain but the way the whole thing was put together you could slight, slightly see it was slightly higher on one side to the other so to eliminate that I've cut them both down so that when it's together it forms the one inch the half an inch sorry the same here um, but it's all flat 
so it just means that that is all nice and flush rather than it maybe one side being slightly up like so because I was using the craft card so again that's another reason why I've done it right okay so what we want to do now so do that for both of them so there's one that I've already done and I've already um, put the tape on both of those so what we're going to have is this is going to be stuck like so okay so the easiest way to do that is to take off the tape from the longest piece first of all and very carefully just line it up to the edge like that okay and then roll it and just make sure this is perfect roll and stick it so you get a nice flush straight line there okay and then with the other side take the tape off like so and then you want to line the bottom of this up with the bottom of this piece that you've already stuck down so it's a little bit trick well it's not tricky you just got to carefully keeping everything nice and straight actually if I do it yeah if you flatten that just as you would a normal shadow box keep it nice and flat and just follow that like so there we go okay you can see there you've got a nice straight border and that's what you want to make sure you have so you need to repeat that again at the bottom and if you want to just grab um, got a little ruler here just something to kind of go in just to make sure that's all nicely stuck down on both of those sides okay so I'm happy with both of those and then you want to burnish your longer one exactly the same as you so did. Again, you just want to apply tape along those two little um, edges okay. that you've got there. So you want to do exactly the same again with the side. So just line it up like so and then just roll it. And then with this piece, again, exactly the same way. You should have enough room. You can see there, um, just grab my pokey tool, that little gap there. That's your room to be able to put this one in here. Okay, so again, you can see there I've got a nice even border. And then this will just help it in, but we're going to glue the just the corners. You can see there you get a really nice finish and a really good frame. And you can see how it's all coming together. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that one. Oh, I can stay in there, no reason why it needs to come out. So again, just repeat that okay. for this side. So what you want to just make sure you're doing is every time you're sticking them down, is use this inner frame, this green, as your guide and make sure that that's all nice and straight. Okay, and when you bring it all together... You can see there, once we stuck it all, you've got a really nice frame. So all you need to do is grab a bit of wet glue and you just want to put it on the corners here, on a, just a little bit, just on a little triangle corner, like so. I'll do this as well and then I can hold it all together at the same time. So just put a little bit there and it just, just keeps it in place really. So just bring them up. If you bring each one out and then slide it up like so. So again, bring them out. And just slide that up and just go around and make sure everyone is joined up perfectly okay so what you want to do now is just grab your back stand that you have and where you score you just want to apply some um, tape along there because that's what we're going to use to stick it down and then with this little piece here if you just let me remember which way I folded up yeah so you just want to fold up in the middle okay and then the two side pieces out like so so you've got that shape okay and then just grab some tape again and just put that on the two outer sides of those little tabs like so okay and turn your frame over and you want to first put your stand in place so just lie it so the the tabs at the top 
this bottom piece just make sure it's nice and flush you've got an even border on each side take off the tape and just stick that down okay and then with this piece here one piece again just line it up in fact turn it over do it do it on this side first just line it up so again it's in the center completely flush with the bottom there and then take that piece off keep it down flat down and lie the whole thing down and then just stick that oh, I just pulled my thing out because my glue wasn't set okay and there you have so that will now stand up nicely okay so now you just need to add your little flower I've just got a tiny little one making sure I don't stick it on the picture still needs to set but there you have it a really nice photo frame I'm really pleased with them I think they come out really really nicely um, I've used black and white but obviously you can use any you can put anything in it you want so there you have ooh, my two photo frames which sit up nicely and um, yeah I'm really pleased with them they're solid pieces so that one still needs to dry a bit I still need to Make sure I keep holding them all in place because this one here now you can see it's just they're all nicely secured. But there you have it. So I hope you like this um, little project from me today. My um, window box or shadow box photo frame. Um, but there you have it. So straightforward to make and um, really effective, I think. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.